Hey everyone and welcome to BFX. This week we're bringing you our most ambitious build to date, the radio controlled camera pod. Because this episode is sponsored by the upcoming film 21, I wanted to pull out all the stops. One of the main themes in this film is the eye in the sky, and here to tell you about it is 21 star and close personal friend, Kate Bosworth. Kate? The casino is always watching. You've heard of the eye in the sky? That's what they call those cameras they have hanging from the ceilings. Thousands of them, everywhere but the bathrooms and the hotel suites. Those cameras are always on. Okay. Thanks, Kate. See you later. So I'm gonna show you how to build a rig that will replicate these cool shots. But first, let's have Gary spin the wheel to determine our budget. Whoa! All right, $40. That means I need to go get some remote control cars and you need to check out this trailer from 21. Ben Campbell had a gifted mind, but when he couldn't pay for school, where am I gonna get $300,000? He was given the perfect solution. You ever studied blackjack? Are you talking about counting cards? On March 28th, counting cards isn't illegal. Plus nine. Plus five. Dude, I lost count 20 cards ago. Don't call me dude. Will he take it too far? Think you could beat the system? Based on the bestseller bringing down the house. The stakes are high and it's more dangerous. 21, rated PG-13. Two remote control cars, two wooden discs, scrap wood, two rheostats, and some wiring. The biggest challenge with this build is making the little RC motors spin around 2 to 4 RPMs when they want to spin around 2,000. After a lot of trial and error, the solution was to use these wooden wheels that I found in the trash as a type of flywheel and then wire in a rheostat. So the basic idea is base, flywheel motor assembly 1 for pan, assembly 2 for tilt, camera, then rotate the whole thing and mount. The first step is to take apart the car and cut away all unnecessary parts. All we need is the battery pack, circuitry, and rear wheels. Next, carefully wire in the rheostat in line between the circuitry and the motor. Motor and flywheel assembly 1 will be mounted to a 2x4, then to the base. The other will be mounted to a 1x3 and attached to the first flywheel assembly. Use faucet washers and bolts to attach the car wheels to the center of the wooden flywheel. The tricky part is getting everything balanced and making sure the wires don't get snagged. Finish up with a spiffy paint job. And don't forget, this baby's totally remote control. Here are a few mounting tips. I'd recommend using screws to attach the rig to a wooden structure you don't care about, like the rafters in your garage. Detach everything but the base, screw that in place, then attach everything else. This is a light rig, so choose your camera accordingly. We tested it with my point and shoot camera, but ended up using a compact mini DV camera connected to an old TV that we used as an external monitor. Welcome to the underground world of illegal board games. Connect 4, Hungry Hungry Hippos, Operation, name a children's game, and chances are you can play them here with real money and real risk. There's extra risk for me because I cheat and I just got caught. Oh, what the f- Bruno! Turn that camera around. I don't want this on tape. You stole a lot of money from us on Candy Cane Lane. We want it back. So we're going to play a game you can't cheat at. If you win, you walk out of your life and never come back. But if you lose, I'll let Monkey play Operation on your guts. So which hippo do you want? I'll take Henry. Hip 
hippo steroids works every time. Once a cheater, always a cheater. I hope everyone liked this project. It made me rack my brain, cry, and bleed. You can see the shape in my finger. And remember to check out 21 in theaters March 28th. To get that cool security camera look, you can either reshoot your footage through an old TV or use the Final Cut filter, Bad TV. Indie Mogul is brought to you by 21, starring Jim Sturgis and Kate Bosworth in theaters March 28th.